John Deaton, a lawyer who is for XRP, has given three hints about what might be in his big statement. By the way, Binance's latest attempt to get a U.S. court to drop its case with the SEC is based on a recent decision that went in favor of Ripple. Also, the SEC chair finally didn't care about the court's decisions because the SEC had filed an appeal against Ripple's order because of a threat. Follow me until the end to learn more. If this sounds like something you'd be interested in, watch this new video as soon as possible. Welcome to our channel, where we talk about the latest news about XRP and the world of cryptocurrencies in general. If you're watching one of our movies for the first time, we'd like to give you a warm welcome. We want you to click on the bell so that you never miss a movie. We're letting you know that this station is giving away 200 XRP and that you might be able to take part. Just subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave a comment with the hashtag. Hashtag XRP. The winner will be revealed on September 30th. The founder of Crypto Lawyers, attorney John Deaton, has given three hints about his highly expected big news, which he plans to share. For background, Deaton tweeted earlier this week that if everything goes well, he will make a big news on September 22nd. The tweet left people in the XRP community guessing, and many of them asked attorney Deaton for clues that could help them get ready for the big announcement. After Jungle Inc. 2.0, Deaton finally gave away three hints. A well-known XRP fan asked for a hint about the news. Deaton. John can you tell us anything about what might be said tomorrow? The XRP fan was put to the test. In response, the lawyer for XRP said that the big news was about a picture he had added to the tweet. The story of the XRP ledger or the ICO for Ethereum. The first hint Deaton had was a picture of him carefully looking over some papers. Even though the picture didn't show what was in the documents, XRP fans think they might have something to do with the current lawsuit between the SEC and Ripple. John Deaton says that if this is true, there is a chance that Deaton will talk about a big change in the case. At the moment, the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission's crackdown on industry leader and advisor. Stephen Narev is the most controversial thing going on in the digital currency environment. His first message to his more than 296.8k followers was that he would bring a secret area to crypto lore to find out the truth about his indictment, how the regulator tried to force him, and why the case was dropped in the end even though the accusation was very bad. John Deaton gave hints about what to expect before the live show, which just ended a few minutes ago. He also said that his news will be about the XRPL and letting the cat out of the bag. Deaton said he will join Spend 2 Bits, a payment system built on top of the XRP ledger, as both an investor and the company's chief legal officer. The advocate for the industry said that he believes in the goals of the protocol and the work of the founder Jay. He said that Jay can help make Satoshi Nakamoto's dreams come true in the world we live in now. The last thing he said was about the long memoir he has been writing since March 2020, right before the whole court fight between Ripple Labs Inc. and the Securities and Exchange Commission began. Thank, tip the book will mostly be about the most important things in our fast-changing world, like race and abuse. And he told people on the internet to keep an eye out for the work. Notably, attorney Deaton is very involved in the case because he is acting as an amicus curiae for thousands of people who own XRP. Ripple won a partial win against the SEC because Deaton took part in the lawsuit. Please don't forget to subscribe to our station. And hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know what's going on. In the case of XRP, Binance and other companies connected to it that are being sued by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission have filed a motion to dismiss the charges against them. Notably, the latest motion tries to use the recent court decision in favor of Ripple, which said that sales of XRP on the secondary market do not count as securities transactions. The reference to the court's decision about Ripple comes from a part of Binance's defense in which it says that the SEC is wrong to look at past ICO cases. Binance talks about a few cases in which the courts left open the chance that investors' sales of tokens did not count as sales of securities. During the exchange, 
Cases brought by the SEC against projects like Telegram, Khan, Terra, and Library were mentioned. But Binance points to the Ripple case that Judge Torres was in charge of as the only court that has dealt with transactions like the ones that supposedly happened on the Binance US platform. Binance then brought up the fact that the court had decided that sales of XRP on the secondary market were not investment contracts. Binance says that if the SEC made such a decision, crypto trading on its website could not be considered a security transaction. A part of Binance's memorandum of law and motion to dismiss says in the Ripple case, it was clear from the facts that there was no link between the parties that could make the sale of a digital asset an investment contract. More than just using Ripple's win. Binance also claims very strongly that the sex lawsuit goes too far. In May 2021, SEC Chairman Gary Gensler said that the crypto scene didn't have a regulatory framework that would allow the SEC or the CFTC to keep a close eye on the business. Since the chair of the SEC gave in, Congress has not passed any new laws to give the SEC more power in the digital asset space. Binance says that. In the filing, it's also said that the SEC is trying to do through lawsuits what it can't do through laws going beyond the governing powers Congress has given it. It remains to be seen if the court will follow the court's decision about Ripple, which the SEC has already challenged in Binance's ongoing case. But here's what's new. It shows how important precedent is in the legislative field and how Ripple's win could be used to give the US cryptocurrency business more regulatory clarity. Also, Stuart Alderotti, Ripple's chief legal officer, is worried about what Gary Gensler, the head of the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, has said recently. After Gensler's latest interview on Bloomberg TV, the Ripple told what he thought about it. During the interview, Gensler talked about why the crypto business should follow existing securities. Laws. Gensler says that putting securities rules on cryptocurrencies would protect investors from fraud and manipulation. Gensler said that investors still get something out of disclosure, and they get to choose based on that exposure. Laws that protect investors from scams, manipulation, and other problems in the market are a good thing. After Gensler said this, Francine Lacqua from Bloomberg asked the SEC chair if the courts could change his mind about crypto. Gensler replied that he wished the court would help bring crypto into line faster. Gensler's comments made crypto fans, like Alderodi per Alderodi, react, which was to be expected. It is shocking that Gensler, who he called an unelected bureaucrat, has admitted that he will not follow the decisions of the judges. Alderodi could be saying that Gensler doesn't plan to follow the court's decision in the Ripple case. Remember that the SEC lost a big part of its case against Ripple. The SEC said that Ripple broke federal rules by selling XRP without registering it as a security. But the court said that XRP itself is not a security, so the claim was turned